I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Full on go support isn't here yet, and it will end up being very limited when it comes. But with the recent updates that are being pushed to Quest headsets, it's very clear that they have made a lot of progress. In my last video, I talked about how Altspace VR was playable before it even reached the Quest App Store, as well as other Go apps such as Smash Hit and Tibble Run. While both apps were playable, it felt as though the visuals weren't calibrated with the Quest's lenses. It looked like I was seeing double a Smash Hit, and Temper Run had that bulgy look to it. With the latest update, however, the visuals appear to be properly calibrated to the point where I was able to get to the end of Smash Hit. And in Temper Run, I can no longer say that it was the lens's fault that I fell down a cliff. And no, this wasn't the game being updated. The only way to get these games currently is by extracting the game from a Go headset and siloing them to the Quest. And these apps haven't been touched by me since I first siloed them back in April. Odds are Oculus didn't specifically target these two apps and their bug fix updates. And who knows if these are within the 50 Go apps that are coming to the Quest. If Smash It and Tipper Ren are in the initial 50, then we could see compatibility with a lot of other apps possibly more than what Oculus is willing to admit. What are your thoughts on this? Is there a specific game on the Go you want brought to the Quest? And if you have a Go, would you sell it if full Go compatibility was added? Let's talk down in the comments. This has been a Broken TV.